Howdy, this is Jesse with Hoothavian, and today I want to take a little time to talk about the trouble with titmice. Specifically, the trouble that some people have with identifying titmice here in central Texas. Now the reason for that is because there are two main species of titmice that we have here, the tufted titmouse and the black-crested titmouse. Now by themselves, these aren't very hard to tell apart. The tufted titmouse here is, uh, well, it has a gray crest and a little bit of black on the forehead, while the black-crested titmouse here has, well, of course, a black crest and a lighter colored forehead, kind of peachy colored to light gray. But right here in the middle of central Texas, these two species, uh, their ranges overlap and they hybridize. So you get a third option, which kind of sits in between those two, which is the hybrid tufted and black-crested titmouse. Now, if this was the only thing that happened, that might not be that big of a deal, because there would be one intermediate hybrid that you could tell apart from these other two titmice. However, this hybrid zone has been around for thousands of years, and so instead of having just one hybrid type, you get an entire spectrum of different types of hybrid titmice here in central Texas, going from tufted all the way over in a gradient to the black crested. So scientists divide these up by two main traits, the crest color and the forehead color. So they rate that on a scale of zero to three. For the crest color, if it's pure gray, same color as the back of the nape of the bird, that is rated zero, and that's what a tufted titmouse is. If it's rated three, then it's jet black, and that is a black-crested titmouse. A one or two is kind of an intermediate coal color. For the forehead, a rating of zero would be an all-black forehead, deep black forehead, and a rating of three would be a very light-colored forehead, light peachy color to mostly light gray. And then the one and two ratings in between there is a different variations on the chestnut color. So you add these numbers together. If you still have zero, you have a pure tufted titmouse. If you have six, you have a pure black crested titmouse. Anything else, adding those two different traits together, and you have a hybrid. Now that, again, seems like it might be pretty straightforward, but there's, of course, exceptions to even that rule. Way out in West Texas, out of the hybrid range, you will get some black-crested titmice that do have a darker colored forehead. And then even here in the hybrid range, especially this time of year, late summer, when these birds have young ones, the young ones look very plain. Their crests are plain, their foreheads are plain. They almost look more like oak titmice or juniper titmice which we don't have here in central Texas, but they can often be confused for that. And telling apart which species it is or whether or not it's a hybrid, you just can't do. Their songs are nearly identical, so you can't tell is that to tell them apart. So the main way to look is if you find an adult male singing somewhere, he is, uh, you can more easily tell if that one's a tufted, a hybrid, or a black crested, because even the female black crested have a little bit lighter color to the crest. But you only have to worry about this in one little area, which starts about right up here in Dallas, comes down towards Austin, San Antonio, and a little bit over towards Corpus Christi. If you're outside of that range, you are either going to have the tufted or the black-crested titmouse, and you don't have to worry about figuring out which one is which. So I hope you learned a little bit there and are able to go out and appreciate the titmice in the field a little bit better. So until next time, hope you have a great day and good birding. And be sure to subscribe to the Hooth Avian YouTube channel.